Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario. Mild temperatures, sunny skies, fast track conditions. You can expect them to uh, perform well out there tonight. HPI, play of the day. How about another great pick? I know I've never used this horse as an HPI play of the day before because it's kind of like a play on words, right? Another great pick for an HPI play. Six to one in the morning line, a huge effort in his latest over London. A similar trip here can win this one. He should offer some decent value as well. It's nothing but double digit odds and all of his program lines. Going out for Ross Batten, race two tonight. Number four, another great pick, your HPI play of the day for HPI bet and Western Fair District. The early pick three kicks off in race number one. It's a field of six. Kind of like the all button in there. Nothing really jumping out at me in race number one tonight. So again, it's a field of six. The all button looks pretty good. I'm going to use both of Batten's horses in race number two. Number two, Lawman Rain. Ryan Holiday stays on. And again, number four, another great pick. Had that huge start last time out to finish second. We'll take a closer look at him in the second part of tonight's pregame. We'll bring up the replay because in race number two, uh, I think there's four of them in there. Four of seven are going to be featured on that replay in the second part of our show. Race three to complete the pick three using a one, three, five, and six. The early pick four kicks off in that third race. Stay on the same four. Go deep in race number four. Try for some value in there. You've got uh, one best of the bunch coming back. His second start back off the layoff. Next door, Stonebridge Scout. There are a few in there that can uh, vie for an upset. My early pick for it does hinge on race five. Number four, Mark Cathy, just missing last time out. Center of the gate, Colin Kelly on board for trainer Lindsey Kerr. He's got a huge shot in there. Three deep in race six to complete at a mile and a 16. Late pick four, starting in race seven, it's the Madbarn.com feature race. Went four deep in there, over into race number eight. The two, Broadway Maya. Three Espargo, the four Adventure Ahead. On the trot for that, those are the three I'll go to. Went deep in race nine and 10th race, if we can get there. It's the two Fit Bid Luck or the four Sportsman of the Year who will try for three in a row. Very nice four-year-old with the limited action on the racetrack, but he's doing it well. Number four, Sportsman of the Year, Tyler Borth on board in the finale. Taking a short break right now. We'll come back with a whole lot more including who's been hot, and again, we'll take a close look at tonight's play of the day. Stick around. HPIBet.com. Access, rewards, and more. Hey, welcome back to the pregame show, everyone. You're watching Race Day at the Raceway at Western Fair District. Ten races tonight. Got a few featured on TVG. Of course, full card action on HPI. And, uh, yeah, wagering menu for tonight. Setting up like this. Low 15% takeout on some key wagers. The pick three play right up right front in race number one. It's a go-to wager as well, the pick fours and the high fives. Free program selections always on our website, westernfairdistrict.com. Go-to wagers. They are. That pick three play right up front. Always a guarantee on the pool. Guaranteed $5,000 pools for our pick fours. Again, they begin in races three and seven. The edit distance races. A mile and a sixteenth for our high fives in races six and ten. Again, low 15% takeout on all of those wagers. Time now to go to who's been hot. As far as drivers go for wins, Jay Harris doing it and doing it well all through the month of March here in London. 14 victories for Jay over the last 10 race days. He had the driving triple here on Friday night, so keep it going, Jay. Rob Shepard, always a lot. Louis Philippois from Limited Duties here in London. Nine victories. He's got the top win percentage over the last 10 race days. Alfie Carroll always in the mix. Scott Coulter, Nick Stewart. As far as trainers go at the raceway, Kyle Bossens. He is the top winning percentage trainer here through most of March. Richard Morrow, Craig Gilmore had a pair of winners here on Friday night. Gore McDonald now seven wins away 
from career training victory number 1,000. So give it up for Gord. Hopefully over the next couple of months he can hit that 1,000 mark. Rob Manders, Colin Johnson rounding out the who's hot list for trainers. Mentioned uh, on the first part of our show, the play of the day being another great pick. And again, I know I've never used that horse before as a play of the day because it's kind of like a play on words. I picked up on that when we review the pregame script. And so we're going to go back uh, and pick up a picture now. Actually, this is a picture. Let's go to that first. It's the Camelot Classic, of course. Less than nine weeks away now from our signature night of racing. Uh, Great job by uh, Jake here with our graphic for the Camelot Classic. Uh, the countdown is on to our signature race night going the final Saturday in May. Look for a defending champ, bit of a legend to return. He had an outside post to overcome at Yonkers this past Saturday in his Levy division. He was a winner the week before, but again with that outside post on Saturday night, still finished up really good to pick up a minor share. Winners of the Levy divisions were even a pleasure. Uh, Dr. J. Hanover, Rock and Ron. It was Yannick Gingra on for trainer Ron Burke. Western fame looked really good. Mark McDonald on for Jimmy Tactor. And uh, again, they were all winners of their Levy Divisions Saturday Night Yonkers. And they will continue on each and every Saturday night for the next few weeks. Again, it's just nine weeks away from our signature event, the first Cam Luck Classic. Where does the time go? Uh, now it's going to go back to the replay of another great pick. Uh, you'll see four of seven horses involved in race two tonight in this one. Another great pick in here for Batten. He's going to go first up from the half mile on. Bring up the replay then. He wasn't letting up. We're going to turn it up for Doonside Sport, who's leading, challenged by another great pick for a long way. Dune side sport, new standard. It's an uncovered, another great pick for Batten. Floating up there in the third. Following on that is Rolling Rock. Staying inside, Lawman Rain to gain a position. Pay later is last, but not out of it. He's only four and a half off the lead. It's going to be three in and three out as they wheel and deal by three quarters. Dune side sport is still there. Right on the wheel in second, another great pick. New standard, gapping the pocket third. Out there in the fourth was Rolling Rock, still waiting on pay later. No room from Lobman Rain. 127 and 2 for three quarters. That was 29 and 2 through the third. Dune Side Sport is still there. Another great pick at 11 to 1. He's going a big one and he's got upset on his mind. Dune Side Sport, another great pick all the way with him. Dune Side Sport by a quarter of a length. Another great pick, a gutsy second. Rolling Rock. So uh, there it was, another great pick, uh, second best in 156 and 1. That's the best I've ever seen another great pick here in London uh, after he arrived from Manitoba. It was the fall of 2015 when that came in. One of the fastest miles he's ever been charted uh, during his time in Ontario. And again, he finished a strong second best in there and did it the hard way. He won't face Doonside Sport tonight. Doonside Sport does move up in class for trainer Ricky Moffat. He goes up against the preferred three types in race number three to kickstart the early pick four. Uh, you just witnessed uh, four of those horses from the, let's see, race two tonight. Four of the seven horses were involved in that replay. And again, another great pick. He was uh, better than the rest in there to finish second, 156 and one. Your play of the day. Again, it's a bit of action featured on TVG tonight. Uh, full card for HPI. I'm going to give a shout out to Ian Trotter now that uh, got hold of me here recently talking about Craft Hockeyville and Lucan. You can vote for Lucan prior to March 30th. Lucan uh, is in with a shot for $250,000 in arena upgrades. Again, that's for, through Craft Hockeyville. Uh, look them up and give them a vote and a shot at that two hundred fifty grand in arena upgrades. Luke Ed for Craft Hockeyville in Canada. Let's go back and do some recapping now. It's pick three and pick four playing. We'll go back to the opening race. A field of six, so that's got me all over the all button because nothing really jumping out at me there to start things off. Race two. 
It's the Batman horses that jump out at me. Lawman Rain didn't get a whole lot of room to race from last time out. Holiday stays on, and again, you had that big trip by another great pick. The best I've ever seen him in Ontario. Uh, first up for a long ways, just missing second by neck. He was actually by Duneside Sport, about 50 feet before the wire. Duneside Sport, though, under a bit of urging, came back on for the victory. He will not face Duneside Sport tonight. Duneside Sport in the top class race three. Over in the, the third race tonight, it's the one, three, five, and six. And yes, I've included the six Duneside Sport. It could set up from if there's a hot early place. You've got some levers in there. Sure, please, on the rail. Late night with early speed at a post two. A little bit of swagger from the setter at a post four. And then real, real is the one to take down. He just missed by a nose last time out. Jay Harris, hot driver, stays on the five. Real race number three. The early pick four does start in that third race. We're going to stay in the same four, of course. On the pace for race number four. Second start back off the layoff for one best of the bunch, Tyler Borth. Uh, anytime that horse has had the rail, he's made it work for him. Uh, rail advantage huge there for one best of the bunch in race four. Should he not step up tonight? The two, three, four, and eight. Macapello, second time for the trainer Gary McDonald with Tyler Moore on board. Claim two back. Uh, very nice horse in his younger years. Macapello follows out the speed of best of the bunch in race number four. The fifth race, the four, Marcathy, second by a head last time out in 58. Beaten as the odds on favorite. Colin Kelly stays on for Lindsey Kerr. My early pick four, all hinging on Marcathy at a post four in race five. The sixth race, one, five, and eight. Much improved post for It's a Big Secret. Gets class relief as well. Scott Coulter on for trainer Dean Nixon. Look for a little more from that one tonight. Taro just missing two back at Flambro in a sharp mile of 55 and three. He gets good this time of year. Uh, again, we're on a fast track, mild conditions, clear skies. They will be going some tonight in London. Over into race number seven. Again, it's the madbarn.com feature race. Going to the inside four in there. Number four, Cajun Thomas. Second time Lasix. That's always a betting angle on this end. Over into race number eight on the trot. Two, three, and four. Broadway Maja was a winner. Two back as the favorite. Rob Shepard gets the call for trainer Jason McGinnis. One of the stable entries in race number eight, the two, Broadway Maya. Over into race number nine. Five deep in there. We're back on the pace. Bit wide open in there. The outside post for seven. London Sealster had three straight victories before going up the Woodbine. Still finished a strong fourth back quarter, 26 and three. Very sharp form right now for the seven. London Sealster, though a tough post to overcome in the ninth race. Tenth race. Uh, tenth race in here. Going to go to the two and four. It's Fitbit Luck or the four Sportsman of the Year who will try to go three in a row in Ontario. That's going to round it out. For some pick three and pick four playing with cameraman standing by. Where are you going, Trev? Cameraman. Race seven, the three, new standard. Driver Colin Kelly. Not quite in the favorite books yet for the cameraman, but you know what? Colin is getting there. Colin's only been in Ontario for less than two years now. Had a career best season last year. Colin Kelly on the three, new standard, working his way into the cameraman's fave book here in London. He's got a great shot with new standard in race number seven to start. A late pick four. Alrighty, it's pub night at the top of the fair. No reservation required. Great pub style menu up there and a fabulous spot to watch the live racing from. Again, the doors are open. No reservation required. It's another edition of Survivor Tuesday coming up tomorrow. Always free to play online or on track. Brought to you each and every week by HPI Bet. I will have a guest for the pregame show tomorrow, John Hahn, uh, driving tomorrow night, and he will have his top selections for each and every race, and I'll have mine. We'll try to help you out with your Survivor Tuesday selections for the Tuesday pregame show. Closing boards. Everything you need is on our website, westernfairdistrict.com slash raceway for your free program, selections, video, replays, ticket ideas, so much more on there. Check it out. Happy to have TVG and HPI joining us this evening. Fast track, clear skies, mild temperatures. Let's do this. Good luck.